The 2022 U.S. midterm elections have showed us how Black women across the country are civically engaged more than ever, especially so in the historic gubernatorial and Senate races in Georgia. With a historic number of Black women running for office, organizations like Higher Heights for America made sure to show up and show out. At their event on November 6, we saw how Black women came together to organize and mobilize voters in their communities. We organized our house, our Black, our church, our sorority, and our union. And so we've been hosting Sunday brunches where we're centering joy. We're excited about this moment, but we also understand the seriousness of this moment. And so we have women and our ally, Black women and our allies who are texting their neighbors and their voters, ensuring that they have all the tools they need to make a vote plan for November 8th. But we're excited about being here in Georgia um, in support of Stacey Abrams for governor. We supported her day one on her run in 2018. And as she says, this is unfinished business. So we are organizing Black women. Many Black women described how having representation in elected office is essential. Black women bring um, the experience of being Black, <laughs> being women, um, being mothers, uh, being involved in their communities. You know, we think about our families and our communities in a very different way. Black people get hit hardest with all the things that are bad in America, we get hit the hardest. And so having black women who care about their communities and their families at the helm making decisions is really important. And it's an opportunity to uplift our communities. At their November 8th election night event, the New Georgia Project celebrated their efforts in mobilizing Georgia voters at record numbers. Well, we are hype. We are here in South Fulton on Old Nat um, with our folks um, trying to celebrate you know, this outcome because of what it's about is community. We have registered 40,000 voters this cycle. We have knocked on over 2 million doors. Today alone, I just heard from one of my staff members that we've made 75,000 phone calls in one day. No matter what happens, you know, with regard to results here in Georgia, even though we're super excited about the candidates that we slated, what we know is tonight is an irrefutable win for democracy because what we have done this cycle is expand the electorate and that's what we set out to do. In the Georgia midterm and runoff elections, Black women were doing the groundwork to ensure that their communities had the information and the access they needed to vote. Black women lead the way. Um, we are the nurturers, we are the caretakers, we are the backbones of all of it so if we don't step up and do anything it just don't happen and that's elections that's just life period but i have noticed and have been very proud especially when i scroll through social media at how many of my black women peers you know have been out here saying rock the boat let's get out here vote it down whatever the slogans may be but they have been out here pushing the agenda knowing what is at stake is a huge motivator for why black women organize the way that they do this midterm election is huge and it's important. It's not just about the Senate. It's not just about the gubernatorial race, not just about the governor, but it's about the secretary of state. It's about, um, you know, the agricultural secretary. It's, it's about who we're putting in um, to lead. Even after the disappointing loss of Stacey Abrams in the Georgia's governor race, Black women continue to mobilize in the Senate runoff. You get what you fight for. You get what you organize for. What kind of country you want to live in, right? Uh, what kind of society are we trying to build? Like, I know that everything feels really, really hard and really, really tough right now. Um, but they also say that it's darkest before dawn. And so I know that it feels very dark <laughs> uh, in America right now and across the globe. But, you know, joy comes in the morning and we got to keep up and we got to keep fighting and we have to fight for ourselves and each other. As Black women have organized, mobilized, and made their voices heard in this election cycle, it is clear that they are essential in upholding democracy, not only in their communities, but across the nation.